Joining me now is Dr. Rajiv Hazra, uh, President and CEO of Quantinium. It's so good to speak with you today. Good to be here. Thank you for having me. All right. So you have some news. Quantinium is launching Helios. What is Helios? Well, Helios is the world's most accurate quantum computer. And the biggest beauty of Helios is that it's a paradigm shift. You know, for many years, quantum has been in the research labs. And while we've announced and our competitors have announced advances, um, we're breaking out of that lab with Helios today. Helios is a machine with great performance characteristics, a full and mature software stack. And today is when we have enough capability and maturity in the technology with Helios that we can start developing commercial applications. At the end of the day, that's the promise of quantum unlocking applications and value that you couldn't do with classical computing. Unlocking the value of AI by helping AI get trained better um, with quantum simulations and data to discover new molecules or discover new drugs. And so that is the era that start, starts today. It's a paradigm shift from research to reality. So you're actually launching a commercial product into the marketplace? Absolutely. Helios is a commercial product available both as a cloud, through the cloud, as well as on-premise and with, again, a complete software stack that allows developers to start developing applications looking at the future. It works well on Helios. It'll continue to work even better with machines after Helios. But today is more about starting to build that future versus continuing to zigzag along the trajectory of research. And you already have customers signed up. Absolutely. We have customers today um, doing, working on the cloud system SoftBank, JP Morgan Chase, Amgen, they're all doing very interesting commercial kind of early applications and investigations. Uh, we also have the first Helios that will be on a customer premise. It'll be outside the US in Singapore as we announced as part of our uh, five-year strategic uh, partnership agreement, powering nice capability in the Singapore and the regional ecosystem. And we have a long list of customers who are waiting for the next set of Helios to get started on their journey of commercial value creation through the convergence of classical technologies like AI and quantum. It's interesting. We talk about sovereign AI, but maybe we should be talking about sovereign quantum as well. Absolutely. Quantum technologies is now rapidly being recognized as part of both industrial and national security. It is the great unlock to AI as we look at what AI can do if it was properly trained. Uh, it is the next workforce of the future, which is why sovereign quantum is, again, an important piece. It's really the next frontier of computation. So if you think of to compete, you have to compute. This is pretty much the next big war chest that you bring to the table. So countries that are actually investing and, and looking at how to build applications, strengthen the industrial base, build up the workforce of the future, are the ones that are going to enjoy this benefit first. Mm -hmm. we, we talk so much about the promise of quantum. Um, what does a milestone like your announcement today do to bring that promise closer to reality? I, 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 guess, the, I guess the question is, are, are we looking at a couple of years now before quantum is being fully used, fully deployed, and, and fully realized? That's a great point, right? That is the research of reality where we, what we were saying is if you looked at it in the last four or five years, quantum has gone from maybe to, there's been lots of debates, to a if, and now it's very much created the when. What Helios does is makes the when very specific. It's no longer if I was a large enterprise saying, I think the quantum revolution is coming, I just don't know when to time my entry into it. Helios changes that to a no-brainer decision. Now is the time. Start getting into quantum. Start looking at the use cases that quantum can help you with. Start building your internal capability and workforce. That wait is over. That's the paradigm shift. Watching for the next deep technology to using it and furthering your business. That's what Helios enables. Mm. And you're partnered with NVIDIA on all of this. Absolutely. NVIDIA is a key partner, uh, both in making quantum computers like Helios better because of the classical computing capability that NVIDIA delivers through its GPGPUs that we use to run these make quantum computers even faster, but also in unlocking the value of AI. So we have a partnership with uh, NVIDIA where we're looking at combining the, the GB200s 
with the NVQ link that they just recently announced, connecting our Helios computer to it, and then enabling applications that neither classical computers like GPUs nor quantum computers alone could do. This is the power of Gen Q AI. We've all heard about Gen AI. Now we're adding the Q into the recipe and calling it Gen Q AI. And this is gonna have massive implications as we look at how discovery is done in big end markets like drug discovery, drug delivery, new pharmaceuticals, uh, new chemicals, uh, fertilizers, energy sources. The list is endless. Mm. Um, so how does Quantinium stack up against the competition in this market, marketplace, this emerging marketplace. And I ask that knowing that there have been some breakthroughs that IBM has recently announced. We've heard some things from Alphabet. Microsoft working, is working on its product, and there's a number of others as well. Well, I have a great deal of respect for all my competitors. Um, and if you look at this industry that's going to be worth creating about eight to nine hundred or trillion dollars of value over the next decade, it's not going to be a single player we will need that diversity of approaches, the research to keep us all honest and moving fast. But what I can confidently say, particularly with Helios, we're a good three to four years ahead in terms of taking lab capability or demonstrated research into the hands of customers in a commercial offering. Ultimately, that is what is key. The sooner you get it into customers, the sooner you learn together, the sooner you take the customer's learning down, their risk down, and the quickest path to value. And that requires both great technology, careful planning of the supply chain, managing things like scale manufacturing, managing software and a developer ecosystem, and that's where we believe. The combination of that puts us easily three to five years ahead of anybody who has still great technology in the labs. You've also just closed, recently closed and disclosed a, a funding round, $10 billion valuation. What does that enable? That enables simply for us to take this journey and put it on steroids, right? We have, we are gonna use that, that capital to, to implement our roadmap, accelerate it, de-risk it. We are gonna add um, that capital to our to what we use to build up a developer ecosystem and commercial applications. And we are gonna use that capital to make strategic M&A decisions of where we can build out our capability to address this market and our customer needs sooner and more fully. So this is essentially part of the acceleration recipe for the company. And we are very pleased with how it's gone. Yeah, Honeywell is a majority stakeholder in the company still. And whether it's the CEO of Honeywell or whether it's you, I feel like I always ask you both this question, but is an IPO in the cards? Well, we've always recognized, and Honeywell will say that too, that, uh, that we, will be, uh, we will have significant advantages as a standalone company with ex access to strategic capital for some of the reasons I just mentioned. We just haven't made any decisions yet. We will be working with Honeywell, our majority shareholder, as well as the rest of the board, to make that decision and do it when the time is right, and it's right for the company, our customers, and our investors. Okay. Raj Hazra of Quantinuum, thank you so much.